Kazakhstan has rising investment attractiveness. The statement is emphasized by representatives of foreign business sector. It is also evidenced by other indicators. The number of joint ventures is increasing in the country. The new projects with the participation of foreign investments are being actively implemented. For example, Turkey's largest industrial zone plans to create a joint industrial park in Aktu Bay. The Turkish partners plan to attract both local and foreign investors into the project. Foreign businessmen have extensive experience in the sector. Kazakhstan Aktubi is a region with a favorable geographical location and a high socio-economic development. In addition, it is also an attractive destination for investors. That is the reason why we chose Aktubi. I'm sure that after the launch of the industrial park, the potential of the region will further increase because we plan to attract both Turkish and foreign investors. Aktubi, for its part, will create the appropriate infrastructure for investments in its exports abroad. <laughs> Turkish entrepreneurs said that Kazakhstan has great opportunities in light industry, particularly in the production of shoes. There are raw materials and technologies for the production. The favorable condition created for business development will significantly contribute to the formation of joint enterprises. The shoe industry is very well developed in Turkey. We plan to open a shoe factory in Kazakhstan because it has all the resources. I think that in this case, the shoes will be sold at affordable prices. Kazakhstan is paying special attention to the development of the light industry. According to experts, the industry will have a multiply effect to the economy of the country. A special program has been developed for this specific sector. Currently, the Economy of Simple Things state program is in effect, in which light industry enterprises, in particular shoe manufacturing, have an opportunity to borrow loans at 6%, interest under preferential terms. The Chamber of Entrepreneurs received a lot of interesting offers. We have two to three projects, particularly in shoe manufacturing sector. At the moment, we are continuing the work on financial analysis and business proposals. We expect that after some time, we will be able to receive financing from foreign investors to implement these projects. Following that, we will be able to build these factories. Locally produced high-quality products that are cheaper than imported products are in high demand in the local market. The demand is an opportunity for Dauren Raman Kuls' shoe factory. His shoe brand became very popular after the president purchased a pair of shoes made at his factory. This is a personal example of how the support for a domestic producer has given a tremendous effect, whereby the demand of the shoes has increased. Therefore, the enterprise is undergoing exponential growth. После покупки президента нашей обуви у нашей продажи выросли в несколько раз. Ему за это огромное. After the president bought our shoes, our sales have increased several times. I would like to thank him for this. Objectively speaking, the sales in stores have increased by three times. Online sales have grown by five times. And we still can't evaluate this effect because people still come to us. The Kazakh Ministry of Industry and Infrastructure Development sets a goal, which is to make sure that all the footwear products in the country are made of domestic leather and the entire added value chain should be exclusively Kazakhstani. Currently, the work continues on the whole chain so that leather that is just skinned from cattle is delivered to be produced as a finished product and then brought to the shoe producers who can sew the leather for the quasi-public sector. Now, Samruk Kazina has implemented several categorical purchases specifically for shoes. It is in its pilot project this year. If the producers can sew high-quality shoes that meet all the standards by December this year, then we will make sure that all the footwear will be made from domestic leather. We also plan to make fabrics that are made by locally sourced cotton. Almaty is considered as a center of the shoe industry in the country. There are five factories in Almaty. In total, there are more than 100 enterprises involved in light industry in the Republic.
Large chemical manufacturers in Kazakhstan are increasing competitiveness in the global market. A mineral fertilizer factory in Taraz increased its production capacity following a large-scale reconstruction of the facility. The production output was increased from 300,000 tons to 500,000 tons per year. Only one person controls all of the operations. Previously, we produced 900 tons of products per day, and now it is increased to 1,300 tons per day. Currently, the products made at the factory are holding the leading position in local and foreign markets. The quality of the mineral fertilizers adheres to international standards. The products are exported to 33 countries. Among the first buyers are the United States and Russia. Negotiations are ongoing for to Japan. The factory has produced more than 50% of mineral fertilizers from the planned volumes this year. This is a good result and we will continue it. We constantly introduce new technologies in order to compete with other companies. If for seven months of 2018 our export volume was 30%, this year for the same period we have already reached 72%. The enterprise plans to produce up to 1 million tons of mineral fertilizers per year until 2022. A new Amorphos fertilizer factory will also be built. Cooperation between Kazakhstan and Ukraine in education is dynamically developing. As part of the memorandum, the two states provide students with an opportunity to study at universities in both countries. Every year, the Ministry of Education and Science of Ukraine allocates 40 scholarships for Kazakh youth to study. Kazakhs usually choose majors such as oil and gas, business, engineering, international relations and IT. The Ministry of Education and Science of Ukraine took part in an educational fair. The events took place in four cities, specifically Nur Sultan, Shimkent, Atarao and Almaty. Мы великолепно съездили в Казахстан. Была большая заинтересованность со стороны молодежи Казахстана. We have had a great trip to Kazakhstan. There was great interest amongst the youth in Kazakhstan to enter the higher educational institutions in Ukraine. We are really pleased with that. We see that Kazakh students are interested in various courses. They are interested in engineering as well as oil and gas, especially students from Shimkent, who plans to study in our country. Students from Nur Sultan and Almaty are interested to study economy economy, international relations, philology and law. They ask a lot of interesting questions regarding these courses. The agreement of cooperation in education and science between Kazakhstan and Ukraine was signed nine years ago. In addition, Kazakhstan offers 30 scholarships for undergraduate programs and 10 grants for postgraduate programs to Ukrainian youth. Kazakhstan has become the largest hub of gas transit in the region. In the first half of the year, the volumes of transportation through pipelines amounted to almost 140 million tons. This is 1% higher than a year earlier. In total, the volume was recorded at over 280 million tons, which is 20.6% higher than in 2017. Over the past decade, the length of gas pipelines in the Republic has increased by almost twice. Kazakhstan made most of its gas transportation and transit potential through construction of new gas pipelines compressor stations and introduction of latest technologies. The Asian Development Bank will support a project to build a photoelectric station in Uzbekistan. The project is estimated to worth 800 million US dollars. The planned capacity of the photovoltaic station reaches 1000 megawatts. The ADB will act as a consultant to organize the preparation of the project's concept, financial model and an agreement on the purchase of electricity. The project is expected to be completed in 2021. The European Commission has announced the launch of a support program worth 59 million euros aimed at rural development in Tajikistan. In addition, the EU will contribute to increasing the competitiveness of businesses, strengthening the management of natural resources and sustainability as well as efficient use of water resources in the country. A concept of youth tourism will be developed in Uzbekistan. This area is a priority in the country's bid to diversify its tourism potential. The main goal is to create favorable conditions for attracting young tourists to Uzbekistan, organizing cultural and recreational activities, as well as creating a system of benefits for the young tourists and the infrastructure.
Kyrgyzstan hosted the second tourism festival, Osh Fest 2019. The event's main goal is to create a positive image of the city and promote to its tourism attractiveness. The festival was opened by a colorful oriental caravan. As with traditions, the caravan solemnly passed by the streets of the city as it did many centuries ago. Osh was once the largest trade, social economic and cultural center along the Great Silk Road. Caravans carrying goods that were headed from the east to west stopped at the city. The festival organizers wanted to revive all the historical images. <laughs> In the Middle Ages, a lively trade route passed via Osh. Merchants carried goods to India and Iran. They used to overcome thousands of kilometers traveling in these caravans. As part of the event, different activities such as fairs, exhibitions of crafts and paintings of Turkic artists, as well as a show of ethno fashion and a concert of national music and theatrical performances were organized. The rich program won the hearts of the event visitors, including tourists. We love Kyrgyzstan because of the beautiful mountains and and uh, we just been in Osh a short time but hopefully we'll have a time to see a little bit more. It's really nice. We went to the bazaar today and saw lots of things and you know the crafts that they're doing, working by hand. Organizers plan to make the event as a tradition. Experience shows that the festival attracts a large number of foreign tourists to the region. The first tourism festival took place in Osh two years ago. Preservation of Saksal forests is the most important task of the ecological community of Kazakhstan. The ban on cutting down the plants has been extended in the Republic. Head of the Directorate of the Biodiversity Conservation Fund and member of the Association of Environmental Organizations of Kazakhstan, Asil Khan Asilbekov said that the Saksal forests play an important role in desertification control. He said that the Saksal can hold up to two tons of sand. Every year, up to 80 million tons of salt rises from the dry bottom of the Aral Sea. Saksal allows holding the surface soils and thereby preventing desertification. As part of the grant project, 3.64 million seedlings have been planted on the dry bottom of the Aral Sea. For this purpose, the Forest Reserve of South Korea allocated 1.7 million US dollars to Kazakhstan. If a person sells saksaul and it is clear that this saksaul is old, a fine is imposed on it. It can be up to 200 MCI. And if it is clear that it is fresh-cut saksaul, it can be up to three years in prison. The government takes certain steps to preserve the population of the trees. This spring, we planted the trees on an area of 5,000 hectares. Last year, 5,000 hectares were planted in the Kizilorda region on the drain bottom of the Aral Sea. This year we are planting 800 hectares and we will also plant the trees at a plantation where there are no saksaul. About half a million of new seedlings may be planted this fall. Ancient collections of hadith, old dictionaries of the Arabic and Turkish languages, two volumes of the teachings of Prophet Muhammad and books were published in Latin script. Until 1937, children's poems by Agnia Barto and works of Russian poets were printed in the Latin script as well. In total, the collection of the National Center of Manuscripts and Rare Books contains about 6,000 rare copies. 400 of them are very rare and date back to the 12th century. Одним из важных экземпляров нашей коллекции является Тоте Жазу. One of the important examples of our collection is Tote Jazu, which was used in Kazakhstan from 15 to 26 years. Ahmed Baytursinov created a special alphabet based on the Arabic language. One of the most famous examples is Shipagirlik Bayan, which describes about 4,000 different healing herbs and recipes for treating people. It is still used in China. The people in Afghanistan, Iran and China are still using the Tote Jazu. Tote Jazu, in principle, are still used by the people of Afghanistan, Iran and China. The center, based on foreign experience, is equipped with the latest technology. There is no such equipment elsewhere in Kazakhstan. The equipment was purchased in Italy and Germany. Work on restoring the manuscripts are conducted every day. The ancient relics go through several stages of restoration. In the hands of restorers, even the most ruined pages can come to life. We put the book here, suck out all the oxygen from there and pump inert gas. It will stay here for three to four weeks. After that, we retrieve the book. 
If there are any problems, we additionally disinfect the books with biocides, and then we send the book for sheet cleaning. The National Centre of Manuscripts and Rare Books works closely with archives and libraries in the country. Valuable items are being added into its funds. Overseas expeditions are scheduled next year. Experts plan to collect materials concerning the history of Kazakhstan. Our goal is to collect all historic documents and books, manuscripts, facts relating to our history from around the world in seven years. We will cover all the countries including Vatican, America, Europe and China. We have been collecting the information for many years and now we have an electronic database where we can find any document in any library and also in the World Archive. The census specialists plan to make copies of the valuable manuscripts and bring their originals. They said that this will open new prospects for scientists and researchers and will help in the modernization of historical consciousness and the development of the national code. The Botai State Historical and Cultural Museum Reserve has become an archaeological brand. It's been a year since it was created. During this time, hundreds of local and foreign tourists have visited the museum. Thousands of valuable relics were discovered at this place. Many historical monuments are still stored in bowels of the earth. One of the latest local discoveries is a secret of the Botai dwellings. Foreign scientists find the settlement very interesting. Since it was not glazed ceramics, it was not burned, but semi-burned. The pottery shard absorbed milk. Victor Siebert is one of the scientists who studied the history of Kazakhstan. Now the archaeologist is building an experimental dwelling, which will be similar to the one that the ancient people used to live in. Thus, the famous researcher intends to demonstrate the lifestyle of Botai people to the public. Based on the excavations, we were able to understand that these clay pits were dug up in order to create dwellings there. These pits existed in ancient times, in the Botai time. The pits were isolated from the wet ground with wattle structures and wicker mats. These elements of the wattle fence are also preserved in the cultural layer. They were singled out by foreign scientists. И вот эти элементы плетня, они тоже сохранились в культурном слое, и их вычленили тоже зарубежные ученые. The Botai settlements are very similar to the Kazakh yurt. Ceramic bricks were used to construct these dwellings. Animal bones are added to the clay as a foundation to the structure. In addition, the dwellings were built without props. This proves that architecture is very well developed since those times. We will make the exit part of the dwelling from this brick. The Botai Reserve is located on the territory of Kokshatau National Nature Park. A number of significantly important facilities will be built at this reserved place. According to the strategic plan of the Kokshatau National Park, a visiting center will be built on the territory of Botai Museum Reserve. Until the end of 2022, a new museum, a library and a hippodrome will be built on this site. National Games develop logic, dexterity and creative thinking, as well as eliminate boredom. The National Games are an integral part of the culture of any nation and its heritage. A festival was held in Kazakhstan's capital, where over 15 ethnocultural associations presented their National Games. Each of the games not only reflects certain sociocultural features of the ethnic group, but also presents its history and development. People living in the Republic remember about their traditions, including the National Games. Bashkirs are known for their pillow fights, while Armenians and Azerbaijanis introduce Bagamon to the world. Card games are popular among the Eastern people. Koreans often play Hato, a game that came to them from Japan. Hato game is very popular among us and in our ethnic area. It is played in a noisy company. You can play solitaire. Hato is originally from Japan, where they are called as color cards. There are 48 cards in the deck, 12 suits, 4 cards in each suit. Traditional Kazakh game also was presented at the festival. The Asik Ato game masterclass was specially arranged for the guests.